parts we need for this step are D52, C9, and C26. All right, everyone. Welcome back to the Ducati build. We are doing step 13 this evening, which involves a big whopping one, two, three, three pieces. D52, C9, and C26. So we will get these pieces going so we can get some paint going. So we will need the D sprue and we will need the C sprue. So the first part is D52. It'd help if I could see the numbers. D52 is this itty bitty little tiny part right there, which I will try not to lose. I always have a fun time of snipping it off and then it drops and falls onto my cold, hard concrete floor of my garage. So I'm going to trim off this little nub as well. Now to me, it looks like part of this part will have a vinyl tubing going to it because it just looks, it looks like it requires it. All right, so we're going to put it there and hopefully not lose it. Next piece is C9. Which is right here. Okay. Trim off those areas that look like they got a little bit of Let that smoothed. That part is ready. And C26. All right, get all three of those cut out. Just cutting off the plastic nubs off the back um, where it was connected to the sprue. Because if you don't, it's definitely not going to fit. And it actually calls that out right here. It tells you to get rid of those so that way it's nice and smooth. All right, the colors that we're going to use on this one this time are. This little piece here is going to be painted LP63 
and then come back in and hit all the bolt heads with chrome silver. Um, LP63 is titanium silver, so we will grab that one. I don't think I have it out yet. So I'll go grab that. This part is gonna be a combination of LP5, which is semi-gloss black, and then flat black right on this area here, which we'll just have to, we'll, what I'll probably end up doing with this one is painting that flat black first, then masking that little area, and then shooting the rest semi-gloss black. And then this little part is definitely gonna, we'll shoot it real quick, but it's gonna be chrome silver, and then this little section down here I need to bring it up here so you can see it. This little section here will be LP5 semi-gloss black. So chrome and black. So pretty easy paint stuff. Um, and actually, if I'm looking at the directions here, there's some parts on here also that are chrome. Little bolt heads and a little section here, LP71, which... Um, LP71 is champagne gold. So I'm gonna go grab all those paints and I'm going to get ready to do some shooting and then we will be back with some results. All right, the colors that we're gonna need for this step, LP5, LP71, which is champagne gold, gold lp63 which is titanium silver and what i use for flat black instead of flat black i use um, vallejo model air nato black i just i like the color um and i like the contrast against the semi-gloss black so i i will now start to get my parts mounted so we can paint them up. That one. All right, so the top of that right there will have to be flat blacks and that that's the color we're going to paint first is the flat black so I'm just going to tack that down that'll stay now this little tricky monster ought to be fun because I can barely see the darn thing let alone try to grab it and paint it which I think if I'm not mistaken I think part of that, like I said, is going to be used for a hose. So I am going to... I don't know if this is going to work. It may be too small for me to grip. Without flinging across the garage. I want to try to grab it on the area that it is needing to be semi-gloss black. And then that way, I will shoot it. Um, instead of chrome silver, which I've got to decide whether I want to just touch that. I may just hand paint that with some uh, with some Maltiv. My um, my chrome paint that I use a lot of. I may use that, and then that way I don't have to try to airbrush it. I'll just glue it in place and then and then touch it up. So I'm going to leave it connected to that anyway, so that way I don't lose it. And I'm going to go do some painting. I shall return. All right, we are back from painting. It's funny because it's been a few days since I've actually been able to work on this between trying to get taxes done and 
lots of personal stuff coming up and still recovering from COVID. This is like instant for you guys, but for me, it's been a couple of days and, and another couple of days. I don't know if you remember when I said that I was going to put that part in these little clippers. Well, I had to blow up some balloons for my daughter's birthday and was looking for something to clamp them to. So what did I do? I grabbed this off my desk and opened it up to connect some balloons. And next thing you know, that part was gone. So I contacted uh, Tamiya USA and they are sending the new part and the new decals that I ruined when I first started doing the tires. So I dug into my second motorcycle box and I dug out the piece and I got it done. It is right there. I know, really hard to see, huh? I'm, I'm afraid to even pick it up in case it springs and goes somewhere else. But there it is. That little itty bitty part that has to be glued on to the side of the, uh, the little part that goes under the chain. So, we're waiting for the other part to come in so I can still build the second bike. I'm going to do the second build a lot more detailed with some aftermarket kits and things like that. So, I got this part painted as well. Um, let me get my glasses on so I can see. I got this part painted as well. Uh, there we go. So, I got... A little detail, the parts that are supposed to be titanium gold and the X11 chrome nuts and then the entire part of it painted semi-gloss black with the little strip of flat black on the inside. So that is ready for gluing. <clears throat> Our big three pieces that we had to do with this step. The third step was this little bugger, which we got that painted. It's titanium silver with uh, the X11 chrome silver bolts. So that is ready to be glued. So we now have everything ready to go and to be glued and to wrap up this step. So it's calling for this little part here to be glued to the hub, which we just happen to have our hub right here. It has one little connecting hub point right there. And then on the bottom of that, of course, it's going to have the little corresponding a corresponding little peg right there uh, get it in the right light so you can see it so we are going to get a little glue right on there and then we're just going to kind of go around Grab where we think mash that down a little bit. And that is glued down and ready. So this other part, which is a little more tricky, a little more trickier. It's 
So I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to glue D part D52, which is this bad boy, that itty bitty tiny thing. I am going to glue that to this little chain piece. So it basically goes something like something like that. Except for, I believe that's upside down. <clears throat> According to this. Yeah, it's upside down. So. This little part has to go pointing up because a piece of vinyl tubing will end up connecting to that. And I keep switching it around. It's got to be on the top, not the bottom. And I've got to make sure I'm showing you kind of where it goes. So it goes down inside that little hole. The end has been painted flat black, or X18. There it goes. Now it's in this hole. So I am going to take a little bit of glue and just kind of touch it and let it seep down inside there. So that part is done. And now when we get back to the, the point, the vinyl tubing will connect to right on that part right there. The directions will tell us when and <clears throat> how to do that. So now it shows us putting that whole part connecting to this little hole right here, which is right. So this little peg right here lighting anyway there's a peg back on here it's black and it is going to go into this hole right here and then all of this will tuck right under here we're just going to get some glue in there just all around the edge And fits right down inside that hole to so there you have the completed step number three. So I'm liking it. I'm digging it. Now, the last, last, last part of step th uh, 13, I don't know why I kept saying step 3, is attaching the stand, which it says do not glue, to the actual bike. So we will put that. And we'll push it in as far as it'll go. And then we have... The bike sitting on its on itself. So pretty happy with how it's looking so far, guys. So I will go ahead and wrap this up and get it off to you guys so we can start on step 14, which a little preview for 14 has us starting on some of the exhaust system. Now, um, I ordered something from uh, the UK two days ago. I am building this bike box stock, but I bought another kit to do it with a lot of additional aftermarket. And I found a 
gentleman uh, from the UK who does a full resin um, exhaust set. So I'm anxious to get that here so I can start working on that one as well. But um, it it covers a lot of these parts here, but it's in resin and, and no seams and no joints. They're, they're, it's like one solid piece. So we'll see. We'll see how that looks when it gets in. I'll go ahead and review it um, when it gets to uh, my door. So I hope you guys all have a great evening or morning, whatever time you're watching this. Um, thank you again for uh, your support, watching my videos. And uh, thanks for the feedback. Um, I appreciate it. It helps me see it through other people's eyes. So um, if you uh, like this video, go ahead and click the like button. If you haven't subscribed, uh, feel free to do so and um, drop me a line sometimes. All right, take care.